So before January 6th, yeah. Donald Trump lied about the election in 2020. He still does. That's why January 6th happened. Let's just call a spade a spade. That's what you believe. I believe it okay. happened for Well, January. it wouldn't have happened if Donald yeah. Trump didn't say the election was stolen. The yeah. same people that are saying, if somebody like me says Donald Trump is a threat to democracy, somehow that's inciting violence. But Donald Trump lying about the 2020 election is not. David, please well, explain that to well, me. Well, look, you had a music video. I think it was Eminem that had a, a an image of somebody assassinating Trump in the music video. You had Kathy, whatever her name was, Griffith, the holding a decapitated head of President Trump, which was wrong, and Democrats called that out. And yes, and that's but why what I'm fired. saying is, if you look through the 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 history of violence, um, suggesting that people do, I, Madonna, I have dreams of burning down the White House. Like you can't you can't excuse violent rhetoric, and then when there's violence, instead of toning it down, they double down. They haven't toned down the rhetoric when you and say they is- there were pipe bombs that were sent to cnn as donald trump was attacking cnn yeah. there, there there was something called january 6 with people actually died david uh, well, Whose nobody fault died. That? the only people who died on january 6 were the people demonstrating uh now officers did die after january 6 but it's not like they were murdering police officers there as the media is trying they to weren't they were they were they were beating police officers with pipe bombs they were hanging they out were beating police officers pipe bombs Oh, I'm sorry, not pipe bombs. You're right. I, I apologize. I misspoke. They were beating yeah, yeah. police officers with their with their own batons. Okay. Uh, there were they were getting sprayed with pepper yes. spray. They there were, was unacceptable were... violence at the Capitol on January right. 6th. Now right. we don't, but there weren't all Trump supporters. There was all we don't even know who was in that crowd, and we still don't know why Nancy Pelosi. Refused what do you mean we don't know? Him. Well, hold on. What do you yeah. mean we don't know who was in that crowd? There was insiders oh. in that crowd, and I believe it was probably Antifa. A lot of people suggest it could be. FBI. There's no it evidence that Antifa government. was. In that but crowd. we don't know the evidence. The only evidence. What do you we mean have. we don't know? What, we what don't do you mean? Know. Yes, we do. We don't Every per, there yeah. was over a thousand people that were convicted, David. Well, I don't okay. understand. We, we know well, their history. We there know was, where there was over a thousand people that that pled guilty. Um, so yes, they were convicted, but a lot of people pled. Not guilty. all of them pled guilty. No, some got convicted in a very biased right. and, un, in my opinion, unparalleled. Where is the evidence that there was one person yeah. from Antifa that was in that crowd? Give me evidence of one. There was there's all there was video of people actually changing into mega clothes. There was video of it. Remember the January six tapes that that Johnson promised to release that he never released. The the tapes show that there were other people there besides just Trump supporters. There was videos of suggesting that it could have been government agents. Why is there. it? We don't even know. What? Well, you're right. We never got the truth out of what January. What we do 6th. know, the narrative was so important that they never, they never even tried to uncover know, the truth. I don't know what you mean by narrative. All these no. people had an opportunity to defend themselves in a courtroom. I don't understand no, when I bring up January sixth, and you're not the only no. one. MAGA Republicans out there always want to downplay what happened. But yet, when a, when a Democrat or even somebody like me says Donald Trump is a threat to democracy, oh my God. Uh, you're you're inciting violence, but yet when we talk about January 6th and over a thousand people that were uh, convicted, including uh, those many of them that are still in jail right now for very serious crimes, why is it that you, people like you downplay it? I don't. Well, why on, can't you on. just say it was a horrible you day? In jail for very serious crimes. There were people sure. on January 6th that did some bad things. There were a lot of people on January 6th that got charged with very serious crimes when they weren't actually doing very serious things. I know several of them, people who were just happened to either be walking around taking pictures, people who were pushed into the building under without any control of, of around them because of the pushing mobs. People, people were, were pushed into the staff. building and they didn't want to be in there. Is that what you're claiming? That's yeah, like saying yeah, I know uh, people who were pushed into the building. When you ever been in a in a in a in a, a mob of people? And why didn't they turn around? Them? Why didn't they turn around? You and can't leave, turn leave around them? against people that are pushing you in a direction. So you're telling me people are in them. jail I, right I've now. Spoken to them. Yeah. So you're telling me people were are in jail right now that were pushed into the building and yeah, couldn't well, they may not be in jail me? anymore. Many of them serve sentences. And here's the messed up part about this: they were all convicted under 1512, which was an Enron statute that was put in place to destruct evidence. But because they wanted to put these people in jail so bad, nobody was charged with insurrection. They tried to charge a couple of people with terrorism. Uh, I mean, I'm not trying to make a joke here because this is yeah. a very serious topic. But that's like. Finding your wife sleeping with another guy and the guy's excuse coming out of the bedroom is, I yeah. fell on top of her. David, come on. Give me a break here, <laughs> my man. M&M has nobody, a line like that. Give me a break. Um, Listen, nobody was pushed in there. And then uh, I've spoken to them. I know. Then why didn't they turn around and leave? And why were they that close to the Capitol to begin with? And why didn't because they turn they around and leave? they were protesting outside of the Capitol. There were people who showed up. I don't want to spend too much time on this, but there were people who showed up 
after the doors were already open, not realizing that they broke okay. in and they walked in. Listen, right. I know I've spent a lot of time with January 6th families, and there are some people who really, really, this criminal justice system abused them. And I'm not saying it's everybody, but I can't with a broad brush just paint everybody as being the same people that day. They're, they're not. All right. Well, the overall majority of those people were from right wing fringe groups that were Donald Trump supporters that had the chance to defend themselves in a court of law. Some of those people are in jail. And the point that I am trying to make is Democrats out there or people out there that I believe are aware of what happened on January 6th, do believe that Donald Trump is a threat to our democracy. He says he wants to rip up parts of the Constitution. He said, uh, at least on day one, he would be a dictator. He's talked about retribution. All of that is taken out of context. You know that. He That's what I hear be- from every Trump supporter. Whenever he opens up his mouth, they go into true. a pretzel and they say, that was taken out of context. Uh, listen, if you want to, I, I heard the same thing when he talked about yeah. the disinfectant injecting nonsense. And then the next day he said it was a joke. And I heard all Republicans saying, oh, that was taken out of context. He was just joking. Why is it you guys always put yourself into a pretzel every single time Donald Trump opens his mouth?